All right, this is Demon Eclipse going over um, the 7.4 public test. All right, right now, um, biggest introduction for the public test is mostly two more game modes, two more maps, and the tank destroyer and self-propelled gun line for the French. Now, this is all the tier two tanks um, available currently. I mean, tier, tier 2 tank destroyers. You got the AT-1, the T-18, the Renault FTAC, and the Panzer Jaeger 1. The Renault FTAC here is the French, American, Russian, German. All right, now, comparatively, the Americans have it when it comes to armor. The lowest amount of armor is on the Pan's Jaeger with uh, 13 millimeters all around. The AT-1 Russian, 16, 15, 10, and the Renault FTAC has 16, 16, 16. Now, that round number there is average. kind, Pretty much average. Shell penetration, you're going to go through it every single time. I've been playing for a little while. I got to the Samo S40. It's a piece of shit. You have no armor, and if someone shoots at you with spit wads, you'll blow up, basically. Okay. Absolute trap on a bike. All right. Renault right FTAC. Now, starter gun on it is a uh, 25 millimeter. Reload is okay, about less than two seconds at maximum tier. And then the top gun you can get a 47 millimeter. It's fairly good. Now. At your current level as a tier 2, 50 millimeters penetration is good. 47 is good for running against tier 3s and 4s. Now, I've actually seen someone use the 25 millimeter automatic here. And it was funny because he did not let up in his barrage whatsoever. Okay. Now, everyone know. Well, let's just go over the basic stats here. 120 hit points. Maximum ton weight limit is 6.89 tons. 45 maximum horsepower for the engine. That's for the top engine. The starter engine is 39. Speed limit is 21 kilometers an hour. Traverse speed is 30 degrees a second. Hull armor, as I said, is 16, 16, 16. You get a little bit of angling here, but it won't really do much. Standard shell damage is 15 to 25 when you're starting out with the 25 millimeter. Um, I wish they'd increase it a little, little bit. Just a little bit. Standard shell penetration is 38 to 63. Got the hiccups right now. Uh, 35 to 29 rate of fire. 44 turret traverse speed. 30, 320 view range. 300 signal range. I have the top radio, and I can see farther than my radio allows me to. You should always have a, uh, a radar that can go farther than your view range, because otherwise it's just stupid. Okay. Now, I can't choose one of the special battles. Oh, shoot. I always forget the ammo. You can hold a large supply of ammo. It's not going to matter much. Most of the time, you won't get a chance to fire off all of them. But uh, Matchmaker is pathetically slow in this, so I'm going to stop recording, then start up again when it's I'm playing. All right. All right. You may notice the sizes are a little bit different. Um, I put the game in windowed mode so that I, it was easier for me to switch back and forth between things while I'm actually recording. 
So, um, preliminary list of changes of 7.4 as compared to 7.3, one of which is that there's not a lot of people on the server here, so I'll probably not get into matches very often. Added two new combat modes that will be added to the random battle queue, Assault and Encounter. Played in Assault, played in Encounter, they're nice mix-ups. Potentially you can get three different types of gameplay out of the same map, so it'll um, definitely help it a little bit. However, the Assault is only available on certain maps. The Assault is classified as one team defends the only place, the second team will try to capture it or destroy all enemy vehicles. The mode is active for Erlenberg, Prokhorovka, Westfield, Karelia, Milanovka, Sand River, and Siegfried Line. Adds a little bit of variance in the gameplay, so something we've all been waiting for, really. In counter mode, both teams will attempt to capture the only base in the map center or destroy all enemy vehicles to win. Map mode is activated for El Haluf, Muravanka, Steps, Ansk, Himmelsdorf, Ruinberg, Melanovka, Sand River, and Siegfried Line. Play that as well. If you're against B, if you're low tier and you're against BT2s or BT7s, you're pretty much screwed. There's nothing you can do. Because they'll get there, they'll start capping, and that'll be the end of it. Because most of the time, I've been playing the TDs and the SPGs for the French line. For the most part, they're slow as shit. Slowly freezing as it's running down a hill. Alright. Added two new maps. Airfield. It's very, it's nicely varied. Um, to the north is an actual airfield. To the south is a beach. It's okay. I haven't played on Wide Park. Uh, airfield's supposed to be in North America. Wide Park is supposed to be in a European town. So we're, it's probably in France, France or somewhere. Um, I doubt it's in um, Britain. Added French TDs, the Renault FTAC, what I'm playing right now. The Renault UE57, okay. Samba S. Sao. The Sao. So, Samoa Sao 40. Piece of shit. No art more. Got two more stuck in, sticking out of its fucking head. Um, you can and will be penned by 10.5, um, 105 millimeter high explosive rounds from M4s and M10s, and you will be one shot by them. A lot. And the fact that you have that tumor sticking out of your head that's completely fucking useless makes you that much bigger of a target. You're pretty much worse off than every other tank in the game at that level, which is level 4. Uh, I haven't played the rest of them, but here's the list. The S35CA, ARL, ARL V39, played against it. My opinion is it's a little overpowered, but then again, I was three tiers lower than it, so yeah. ACMLE 1946, ACMLE 1948, and AMX 50 Falk. Haven't played against any of those, haven't played with any of those, so I'm not sure how they actually contend. And the reason why Matchmaker isn't behaving right now is because there's no one playing, really. I apologize for this. I did have video um, saved up earlier, however, it wasn't very good at all. Okay. Added French SPGs, Renault BS. It's got good range, but that's about it. It's got actually it's got good range. It's a 75 millimeter gun, um, and its reload is fairly competent at that level. The Rain 39 Lam, or LAM, um, you pretty much have no armor whatsoever. You're slow. You don't have much gun traverse. And you actually look like an armored truck with a big gun stuck to its back. AMX 105AM. You get the same upgraded turret as the Lorraine 39LAM um, for its starting gun. And then you get a cannon for your upgraded gun. However, as it is a cannon, you do not... As it is an SCPG, you do not get cannon physics applied to your projectiles, which means they move very very slow. 
and I haven't really played against the, any of these other ones or played with any of these other ones, but here's the list. MX-13 F3AM, Lorraine 155.50, Lorraine 155.51, and Bat Chat 155. Presumably those last three carry a 155mm gun. Okay. Vehicles IS-6 and Jag Tiger 8.8cm .8 are added to the in-game store, available for all players. Two premium vehicles were added, available for super testers only. Digger Max, a German TD of tier 6, and the T26E4 Super Pershing, American medium tank of tier 8. Added one camouflage for each nation, bah, don't give a shit. Added the option of training skills and perks for combined qualifications. Recruit, for example, training perks and skills of radio operator when a commander qualifies. Combines qualifications of a commander and radio operator. Added a dedicated platoon chat channel during battles. Um, enter and tap to switch between those. Um, you just press enter to chat. Tab, you go one, tab once to talk to everyone. Tab again to talk to your platoon. It's that easy. Added new medals. Expert by nation for destroying at least one example of each tank type existing at that moment in the specified nation tech tree. So you have to kill one of everything. And if you do not have low tier tanks, you will have to go back, get a low tier tank, and start killing them all over again. Fun. The only thing I don't think I've killed is some tier 10, so... Hmm. Oh, I had the mouse... Thing at one point. Oh, whatever. I don't give a shit. Medal of Resinate. R A S E I N I A I. Resinai. Resinai. Blah. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. Heroes. For destroying the whole enemy team. Not less than 14 vehicles. I doubt. I think it's happened. I'm fairly certain it's happened. I doubt it will happen. It, ha it has happened very often. But then again, I have no clue. All right. Technical engineer by nation for researching all vehicles existing at that moment in a certain nation's tech tree. I'm fairly certain it's happened already. So senior technical engineer for researching all vehicles of all nations existing at that moment. I think it's happened a few times already. Sinai Lion. For destroying over 100 IS tanks of any model and vehicles based on its model. So, KV-1S, the IS, IS-3, IS-4, IS-5, IS-8. I think there's an IS-6 in there somewhere. I can't remember all the freaking IS tanks. And I think the ST whatever may qualify as well. This probably, be, probably won't load, but you'll have to take my word for it. Kind of. Um, I'm just gonna hit it. Okay. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll, it. Well, if it doesn't load after this one, I'm just gonna try grabbing um, a slightly higher tier tank and playing with that. So, waiting again. Well, I just noticed that I was recording with the wrong microphone again. I got a webcam. I'm sure you guys saw the video. Um, there's a microphone on it, I don't want to use it, and yet it keeps on switching to it for some goddamn freaking reason. Anyways, I'm not going to use this because no one's playing that tier level. There's some thousand people in the game, but no one's playing. And in general chat, you see nothing but Russian. There's a few English. Oh, whatever. I'm going to be waiting here a while. Sorry about the bad audio. I'm trying to figure out why the hell it keeps on switching to the wrong microphone. All right. Finally in a match. I think I loaded up with the 10.5 for this thing, so it's mostly good. Right now I'm having serious frame rate issues. Everyone's been complaining about frame rate issues, especially with the newest patches and shit, but this is bad. I'm getting like 17 right now. Give me a second, I'll see if it improves. Well, I can get 60 by looking straight into the ground. And then it's distance, really. There's something 
Yeah, I'm getting about 35 average just looking out there. Let me see if I can adjust something. Graphics. Um, it's a little bit better, not much. Okay, this is a encounter battle. Capture the enemy base or destroy all enemy vehicles. Yeah, and I did load up with the 10.5. I know that because I'm not carrying armor-piercing shells. I'm such a piece of shit. Anyways, I'm going to try to go up. I didn't think this through at all. Freaking AMX 40 rubber ducky. But there's a giant tumor sticking out of my head. See that thing? It's a giant fucking tumor. It's useless. Oh, uh, how the... How the deuce are we supposed to get over there in time? All we got is French tanks for fuck's sake. None of them can move over 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, talk about one-sided. They get a T-28 and a T-50. Their Churchill is out of commission, and we've lost. Wait a second, not yet, not quite. Okay. My reload rate on my 10.5 is fairly good. The only problem is it's hard to hit any target at all, ever. Amex 105 AM is dead. Uh, one of the beta premium tanks, one of the Shermans, is moving forward. I'm going to be screwed relatively quickly here. On forward. Drive! Ah, damn it, almost hit my ally. And the worst part about it is that even if I had hit him, I probably wouldn't have hit him. You know what I mean by that, right? Man, I'm such a piece of shit. The worst part about it is, as I loaded up the 105 so that I could actually hurt people. Because, quite frankly, the 76 leaves a lot to be desired. Ah, fuck. My armor on this tank is fairly pathetic. I've been one shot multiple times by anything with a 105 short. You stop randomly shooting. He loves wasting ammo, doesn't he? I mean, he's in the rubber ducky, so I really can't blame him for that. And I got a lot of crap for crap. Quite literally. I wish I could show you the lower tier battle matches because they are actually entertaining. Then it just went like straight into a ditch. Pretty much. Let's get rid of this damn thing. This is the next one. And instead of a tumor, I have an open cockpit. <laughs> that thing looks ridiculous. Man, that looks like a toy. It doesn't. Oh, either that or one of those Down syndrome babies. I apologize for that, but I don't really. 
Okay, let's see. How fast is this? Thing? 37 kilometers an hour. But you know you'll never see that go see me going that fast. You know it. You'll never see me going that fast. Starter gun is an 80, 75 millimeter. It's uh, it's actually not that bad. I mean, you're a tier five. The 144 average penetration for a 75 mil, a 76 millimeter. That's not that bad. Okay, let's just see if I can pull up the tech tree real quick and just try to compare that to other people. So that one gets you that. Tier 5, you get the Wolverine or this, and then you got Germany, you get the Stug, and um, I can't get that Russian, there we go. And for these guys, you get this. Now, the only one that beats them out really is the Su-85. Uh, well, with the Top Gun, that is, but I think the S35CA has it for that as well. You have the most armor overall. No, not even that. The Stug has better armor than you. You have better penetration than the Stug and same shell damage. The SU-85... Well, I'm just surprised that we um, won the last battle. It looks like the the S85 here, or yeah, S30 S dash 35 CA, is on par with its um, compatriots. It just looks so fucked up, and you got so many flat angles on yourself that even with the slight armor boost over the other people, you're probably never gonna bounce anything. Ugh. But looks like the Top Gun's going to be a, a 105 Schneider AC. Um, rate of fire is abominably slow. But I don't understand why you're getting a... I mean, the 105 is better in all respects. So why would you even go for the 90mm? After all, the 90mm is the exact same fucking gun you get with the freaking BDRG-1B. Which is underpowered at, underpowered at its own level. So let's hit the button. Oh yeah, here's another thing that I didn't mention. There's also a use server aim thing. Now... The caps lock zero or whatever it was, was how we saw server aim before. They have removed that. Now, with, remember that permanent server side crosshair pat mod I had? This is pretty much it. Use server aim. That's what you see. What the server sees is what you see, which means you always, for the most part, kind of, maybe, probably not, know where your bullets are going most of the time. Maybe like 20% of the time. So, back to waiting. Well, it looks like my frame rate's back up. Uh, let's see. This is an encounter battle? Yes. Okay, the last time I played on this map... I'm sorry, but this just feels tiny and wrong. I, I, I can't explain it. It just don't feel right. I don't know. I just feel really fucking small. I know these tanks were large, and just making them feel tiny. It always seems like all of the tanks are either undersized or oversized or wrong sized or something like that. So, yeah. Yarder hey man, how you the hoidin? Okay. Now, um, if we move, if I get up here, I think it's possible for me to maybe see the enemy as they're coming. Maybe. It'd be funny if, like, all the enemies just, like, kind of streamed towards me and I'm like, fuck. Be hilarious, but I was like, fuck. 
unfortunately, I only have like 400 meters view range, so this is gonna suck. Oh, balls. I'm gonna be shot in the side, aren't I? Boom! Shakalaka! <laughs> okay, who shot me? S-35, which is one of me, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same tank I'm using. He must be using the 105. Like I said, the 105 high explosive rounds can go right through you! There is no armor on these fucking things! High explosive! I've been killed with high explosive one-shots repeatedly! So god dang much, it's not even freaking funny anymore! It's annoying as shit! What's even bit worse about it is that I know there are enemies coming over from over there, and my team will do absolutely nothing about it. <sighs> Anyways, you're a sniper tank, but you can't see jack shit, so you're kind of screwed either way. <sighs> I guess it really depends on who's trying to drive them, but... They just all feel so crappy. The lack of armor is disappointing. The fact that they can be one-shot by their compatriots because they have no armor is disappointing. The fact that their guns, when you start off, are underpowered are disappointing. I mean, I didn't even feel this restricted um, back when I started with the freaking Stug. Uh, the AMX 105 AM got him. Uh, and I'm dead. That's a two for two so far. The KV-1 here has the 76 millimeter. I wonder why he didn't... Well, yeah, you have to get the upgraded chart to actually mount the 85 millimeter on here, so... You're not going to hit him while driving. Not with that gun, anyways. Well, we're screwed. I mean, I'm surprised we won that last game. Um, so far, except for like the first, like tier two and tier three, maybe, like they they just don't feel good. I mean, the first tier two and tier three feel good. Tier four and five feel like shit on a candy stick. That's a really bad analogy, I know, but. Like, this guy, I just don't feel the maps are big enough. I, I know that's kind of generic, but no, whatever. I think I may need to get track upgrade first. Can I get the, no, I don't have, I don't have enough for the gun upgrade. Good experience. I don't have enough for that either. Oops, oh well. Anyways, I'd like to show off some gameplay with this, but there just aren't enough people playing low tier right now. I mean... With my experience, the 25mm does well, the 47mm does well. I've seen people use the 25mm automatic very well, and it looks like it'd be fun. It feels like a goddamn, it, it sounds like a goddamn machine gun. It looks like they're firing a goddamn machine gun, because that's what they're firing, a goddamn machine gun. <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself here, but 113 rounds a minute, that's good. Almost two rounds every second. Fast reload, fast cyclic rate. Yeah, it feels good. 
And for some reason, I think those are improperly modeled. I don't think those are the 20 millimeter that is supposed to be going 35, 29. I think those are the 47, which is supposed to be going 28.57. I mean, look at the gun. That looks more like it. That looks more like it right there. But that's just me. Uh, the 47 millimeter feels inaccurate and slow. The 25 millimeter is just better in most respects. I mean, if you had more penetration, yeah, I'd love it. But, yeah, since I can't give off good um, gameplay right now, this is pretty much the end of the video. So, this has been Demonocalypse. Thank you for watching.